Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Pastor Arena Studios. So far, I hope you enjoyed the tutorials. Please like and subscribe my, to my channel so that you can see regular updates on this. And uh, remember, as long as you keep watching all of videos are free, you will learn various skills that will help you to become a 3D animator or Microsoft Word Publishing, any software that you want to learn freely, as long as it's well, among the things we offer, you can learn them from our website. So the, this evening, I uh, would like us to go through on this very one. I've been asking, how can you uh, morph the character morphing, rigging the character face? Yes, I have a simple and easy way to rig the character face, which I make use on Microsoft on a 3D Max, 3DS Max. Let me show you an example of what I mean by morphed character faces. For example, I have some projects here, like this one I'm about to show you. Already morphed character faces. So you will see how they work and what actually you need to do to make this possible. So take a look at these ones now okay not this let me get where i kept them it's coming to look at the code yeah okay so for example i have this character face this is what it looks like. I have to make a duplicate of the faces with the various uh, facial expressions I would like to make the character represent. So, when you have done that, you just have to click on the character, go get your morph target, morph, then after which you add it up on these characters and to start responding. That is exactly what we're going to do need more detail away so just watch carefully so this i hope you can see it clearly so this is the character and i want to show you what the morphed feature looks like when this face has been read so take a look at this see a facial expression is working and you can see how ah, oh, ah, oh. there's no teeth yet in his mouth I've not added the teeth yet, so as you can see, everything is responding as supposed. Everything is responding. See, you can even blink his eyes, and then the eyeball also can also move around depending on what you want to achieve with it. You can do just that seamlessly without any special technicalities, and you can use this on yourself. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. So let's just get started to the tutorial that we came to learn. So we are moving straight to the very one I'm working on for this class. I want to show you step by step how I did. So the first thing you do here is to select the whole object. That's the object that make up the, the the person you question. So I need to import the feet. I've already done the feet for him. That will have been long, long time ago. So I need to just get the tits imported into this project. Then we'll work along with it. So this is where I can find it. To be carefully looking for it now. Yeah. No. No. Oh man, you need to reorganize some of these my old files because it's not making it very difficult for me to find some of my works. So, well, nothing spoiled yet. I can find the character teeth somewhere here. This is the teeth. So this is the teeth I'm quite talking about. So I've got the teeth. The teeth is working well. And you can see the mouth can open and close, the tongue is beneath there, so it, there's nothing to worry about. The teeth is cool, it's cool. So, all I need now is just to carry the teeth and put it inside the mouth, the face, just insert it inside the character face. 
and then make sure everything rhymes as supposed so i need to reduce the size i just did that go to the mesh view change our view to make sure i'm fitting everything correctly so this is for self you carefully place it well carefully place it well arrange it where it's supposed to be and at this point you will make sure what positions will appear for the moment your the view is good it's good in my eyes at this moment so i need to just make it big a little bit bigger so at this point it's cool so right now let us start working on the character face so now uh, we need to start by selecting the whole thing go straight to the front view desk on the front view as i said in there making sure everything is selected drag carry and drop say okay do it do it and drop click on the flesh we're going to make this to be normal normal facial expression when the morph has been applied so no yeah when the person's face is just in a normal stage so i will grab all the vertices for the lips grab this grab it grab it grab all these small small vertices then as you're grabbing you always come back to the background here make sure that the ones at the back of the head is all grabbed avoid making some kind of mistakes that will make your work look weird so i just close the mouth for this one i'll call it just normal normal face so i'll take it down get another one get another sample from the original place it over here this very one i want the mouth to open so i want the mouth just go say ah the ah word this is ah so i will come straight here grab all the mouth vertices grab it grab it carefully grab all the vertices down there so i'm grabbing them all making sure everything is selected carefully if you make mistakes you press ctrl y ctrl z i mean so at this point i will drag everything down to this stage 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 okay and then i can make the mouth open like her dragging the small one is okay so you just be improving your work as you do it make it look the much more curvy and realistic okay at this point you can open the mouth if you want uh this is her so i've gotten the one for the her sign here so i need another one for him to say big ah very big one so take a look at this i can use the same one that i got here to say the big ah okay so we click on it say big uh then come there right in grab all that you used to hold before pull them back again grab a vertice grab them all then drag it very big widely open open them out wide yeah that's what's up that's what's up it's going to be very big there's so much screaming screaming at the top of his voice that's not what i'm saying so you can leave it at this point you can make the teeth come a bit low and the tongue can drop lower than this just to make it look more realistic so you do like this. we have the big air here 
this one you need to create the one that will help him close his eyes and open it again and again so i'm working on that you select it go straight to the eyes select 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 the eyes okay be careful while you do this to avoid making any mistake that will cost you a lot understand so now you have to go to the back here and select them come back to the front and then make sure the front ones are still selected you drag the eye to close it's about to sleep understand so now you drag the eye to feel as if it's sleeping come to this perspective view to observe carefully what you're getting from this angle so then go back to the front view and continue by leaving these ones here see i made a mistake while dragging this understand? so i have to go back do it again carefully carefully drag it down then unselect this and this and then drag it further after which you have to unselect this last line up above here and select the last lines i just selected them all then you can come here observe okay everything is still fine i will drag it lower and then it's not going to continue in a straight course so i'll push it inside this way because it's an eye it was fast to call so come back to this place and then we'll select these two guys and push it down below again and we'll select these two guys again push it down below so we'll select this again and we'll select this one too then flip it down completely the eye has closed yeah but this is not where what comes in then so you drag this guy towards this side to make it seal up you see you also come to this angle, get it? Seal it up like this to make it look much more professional. Understand? So now you have to get the eyelids selected to make it big. You select it carefully, select the upper top of the eyelid so that you can expand it carefully. I will do the same on the opposite side but I will have to be more careful too so I will select all that I need to work on select them select select carefully select then I'm done so you can come right here to push it up see see what I'm saying you come back to this place and see what the eye looks like so at this point we need to close out these white edges i showed you from the main eyeball so you come here select only the outer part of the eyelids select them carefully we are going to push it inside to make it flat terrible to the eye face you know I mean? so you come straight get this one too get them carefully you can just carefully so you go back to this place push it in inside carefully inside yeah some areas may be really fine so you just need to be very very careful how you put the inside so you push it very deep inside you see some areas like these areas are okay but these other ones are still showing why it can pull out a little bit a little more more or more like this and it's cool so at this point i'm good with the work i just have to flush these edges neatly likewise this side so you just have to do what you need to do doing it
just flush it down and this fine the eye has the eyes is acting closed so this one I will call it eyes closed okay that's how you continue doing this until you get the next one so just watch out I'm about switching on to the next one I will so this is what I'm talking about so far we got all the, the all of them all the facial uh, <laughs> adjustments expressions that I need to make for the facial expressions we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten of them so I represented each one according to what I want to achieve with it. So and I also gave them a name. So now I want to start adding them to the mouth so that it can start working. So we go straight to this modifier menu, look for morpher. We straight go look for morpher. This is the morpher. Pick. On scene, you will start picking as right click. You click on pick on scene, pick from scene, pick from scene, pick the last one, eyes closed, serve, have war. Very sad. Oh, and the final one is the guys. So now we come down to the character I'm working on. Don't mind this thing that turns blank. Just click on high quality and click on standard. It usually happens in 3ds Miles 2000 and uh, 2021 and 2020. So now I'm good to go. Move the towards groups to up to three pixels. I need three here yeah, and I can go straight in the morphing and start showing you what we are able to achieve this is it hope you can see from your end so um, just make the expression work the way you want it so the character can express himself can even laugh and laugh because you have such scream you can make him very sad very sad you can also make the character say oh oh yeah so big eyes you can make him open his eyes wide or keep it low so this is it thanks for watching have a wonderful weekend ahead of you bye